Yeah. She give me biscuits and sweets. So I take the biscuits. In the night, I find myself in one place. So they welcome me. Problem, problem, another problem. people wonderful people welcome back to my channel i'm comfortable and this is just too comfy if you're stumbling upon this channel for the very first time you're highly welcome do also hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell in that way you always get notified anytime i post a new video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much you guys are the real g's you guys are the reason why i keep making videos every day thank you so much for always tuning in thank you for staying by me so on today's video we're going to be discussing something I know most of you will come at me and be like how far why is that every time you're talking about witches and wizards it's not like that when I'm making videos on this channel I don't just make videos because I feel like making videos I make videos to create awareness to make people know that this kind of thing is happening or is in existence so yeah I stumbled upon this video that I'm about to talk about now on um, TVC news and I think I also saw it on channels TV a lot of TV stations have already carried this particular news so it happened that in Lagos the Commissioner of Police decided that they'd carry the media along on what is happening in the station so they invited the media over and they were just taking them around and parading criminals and suspects for them to um, have interviews and know the cases that they have on ground so during the course of these interviews and um, um, interrogation or let's call it um, which name do you want to use okay during these interviews um, this particular case stood out for most journalists and it was a case of this 15 year old girl that was taken to lagos to be a nanny for um somebody in january so she was taken to be a nanny in january to this family and this family has a six months old baby so she was taking care of this child and prior to this time when she she according to her confession which i'm going to allow you guys to watch so um according to her confession she said that when she was in primary school her friend gave her biscuit and sweet and thereafter she slept in the night and found herself somewhere and obviously she was initiated through the biscuit and sweet so that was how she started um, from her primary school days till when she got to the secondary school and till, till she became 15 years she has been in this witchcraft cult and um when she came over to lagos she was given an assignment to kill this child that she was staying with she said she she uh, she told them she was not going to do it before but they told her to call the child's name four times which she did and automatically the baby was dead my name is Oto Shamaka. I live in Anambara State. So when I'm in primary school, the name of what there is the one of my friend called Abere. So when we are doing break 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 time, so she give me biscuits and sweets. So I take the biscuits. In the night, I find myself in one place. So they welcome me. So they welcome me. The, when I'm coming to this Lagos, they say that I should bring blood, but I say no. They will do me to do another thing because I don't want to share any blood. Okay, they say, okay, what did I want? I say, if I will not, I don't want to share any blood. So if I can do anything, they say, okay. They make me to make if anybody sad. Okay. So when I'm coming to this Lagos, they told me what, what did I... I said that I want to come to this Lagos to do nanny. That's okay. So on on fifth being Saturday night, they asked me that that they want the baby I'll come to carry. I said no that I, I will not bring the baby. They say if I don't bring the, the baby that will strangle me. So I said no that I don't want to bring that baby. I beg them. They didn't agree what I so they give me bath, say that I should call that baby four times the name four times 
So when I call the baby four times, the bath turned to blood. So is what happened. Um, you do not use any... How old exactly are you? How old are you? I'm 15 years. In what form do they appear to you? Do they come physically, spiritually, or in what form? In spiritual. Spiritually, how? Just tell us. In my dream, if I'm dream, if I'm sleeping. So where do you find yourself? I find myself in Ugoloma. Where? Ugoloma. Ugoloma. Where is yes. Ugoloma? Where is that? Where in Anambara State. Where in Anambara? Where in Anambara? Where in Anambara? In Agolo. In Agolo. Yes. What is the name of the group? Ugoloma. Ugoloma. What is the name of the group? Ugoloma. What? Am Guys, when I heard this story, I just had a whole lot to talk about. I know when I made my other video that I talked about witchcraft stuff and whatever, some persons came to me privately. Some people came to my DM and some people came to me and were just telling me like, this witchcraft thing, I don't believe in it. Personally, self, I don't even know if I want to tell you I believe in them. I, I don't know. But the fact is that they are in existence. Like, it's real. It's not a joke because I've, I've heard a lot of things if it's actually a joke you will not be hearing the same storyline repeating itself with proofs and evidences but sha that's not what we are talking about we're talking about the, the case of this girl so when i saw the story i had a whole lot to talk about first of all where are we going to start from the fact that it's existing as parents you need to be very careful when you're when you're with your children when you're with your kids when they're still very tender you know, education nowadays in our society is inevitable. This is not the time of our parents that to say, okay, children don't go to school. Definitely now, when once children are up to one year, five months, um, one year, five months, they start going to school. And from that state, they're exposed to a whole lot of things. You need to try the habit of telling your children not to be gluttonic. I don't know the word to use, but telling them that they shouldn't take things from strangers, even if it's their friends, they should be very, very careful. They should be careful because the, the, the most most of the kids that we hear that got this witchcraft thing is from school. They collected sweets from their friend. They collected biscuits. So as parents, I think parents have a lot of duty to do. I'm starting from the grassroots, from where the origin of this thing started. Because this thing started from somewhere. Years back, she got this witchcraft. This family that she was sent to kill their child didn't know that. The the plot to kill their baby started from years back. Because I didn't think this girl didn't get this witchcraft. Who knows? Maybe she wouldn't have been the one to kill this child. Or maybe this child would have still been alive. So parents, you guys have a lot of duty to do. Try and talk to your kids not to eat outside. If you try and inculcate that habit into them, it will help them when they are growing. They will hardly just collect things from people and eat outside even if it's their friends. Yes, I know you can talk to your kids about, okay, don't eat outside and they still go ahead and eat. Parents should also be very spiritual. Always pray for your kids. So pray for your kids. You can you can reach a stage that you pray for your kids up to the point that as they're about to eat that thing, something will happen and you they don't know how their hands so another person will eat their hand, the sweet will fall down, the biscuit will fall down, or something will just happen so that they will not eat that thing. That's why parents need to be very spiritual. Pray for your kids. You God gave them to you for you to be able to give account of them. So if you cannot give account of them and expose them to being possessed up to the point that they join things that they, they, they are now destructive to you and others, huh, you guys will give account of those kids. So parents should be highly spiritual and prayerful. Children as well should be very careful. Know who you are eating from. If you must eat, pray. Because most of the times, if people pray about a particular thing, if all those witchcraft forces are being um, put in a particular thing, and a believer or a child of God prays on that thing before eating it, I think it doesn't have any effect on the consumer. So kids should always pray before they eat anything. And aside from prayers, if at all you find yourself in that kind of thing, okay, maybe you slept and you dreamt and you saw yourself in a court, when you wake up, try and talk to your parents. Tell your parents that, see, oh, I woke up, I saw myself somewhere, it's like I'm possessed, it's like something is happening. So that they will see how to help you, so that you will not become destructive. Talking about nanny, hmm. 
I know it's not easy. You, um, some people might read that state that they have a lot of children to, t- to cater for, even if not a lot of children, but maybe a child and having house chores to attend to. They might be working class parents. They have full time jobs. They don't have time to cater for the home. They don't have time to do chores. They don't have time to take care of their kids. And they're like, okay, let's get a nanny. Let's get help. Let's do this before you get help. Be prayerful. Hey, you cannot afford not to be prayerful this this stage like this the way our society is now you cannot afford to be prayerless you cannot afford to be prayerless the way our society is going if you don't pray you will become a prey i'm telling you so you you need to be very prayerful you need to be vigilant and aside from that you can still do without a maid you can just do what you can is it food you want to cook you can just you can try and schedule your time if you if you mean business to do it you will do it you mean to wake up early you mean to take care of the kids you can do it you can you can most definitely do it but if you must get help be very prayerful Seriously, so that you will not fall a victim. See this lady now. I be this family now that lost their six month old child. Taking this girl to police custody, I don't know what you want police to do. Honestly, let's be frank. Is there any law in Nigerian constitution that say anybody that chop witch can't keep person for which one made a kill the person? I don't know if it's in the constitution. If it's there, yeah, fine. But I, I don't think that kind of case is in the constitution. This is the first time I'm even hearing that this kind of case is in the police station. What's the police going to do? Are they going to kill the girl? Okay, what 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 are the evidences that the girl killed the baby? Okay, what if she did not confess to the facts? She did it spiritually. The baby died, obviously, here. Yeah. She did it spiritually. You don't have any trace of any physical assault on the baby's body or marks or whatever. She killed the baby spiritually and it just happened that it manifested physically. So there is no evidence to this crime. So keeping her in police custody, I don't see I, I, I don't see case inside that thing. If they can get a good lawyer, I think they can get away with it, honestly. So, for you not to be a victim, be very careful, be prayerful, be vigilant. Try as much as possible to do without mates. A lot of us nowadays, we don't want to do chores again. We do, if we won't have one child, hey, hey, problem. You now go and carry another person's child that you don't know how they train the person to come and take care of your child. Aside from even witchcraft, you've heard a lot of things that nannies do to their, in fact, physically killing them. The ones that are not even possessed, they will physically kill the child or give the child the, the child's feces to eat or worse things or even beating the child or assaulting the child we've heard a lot from nannies and mates this is not this is just one of the, the many so rather than you keeping your child at at the mercy of another person that can easily just hurt your child is it not better you you try as much as possible to do it yourself if you plan yourself you can Okay, maybe you you like you go to work by seven. You can wake up early, take care of your child, take your child to school. Like, uh. Um, uh, let's just be careful. Like honestly, let's be careful. Let's be careful. Let's be really, really careful and prayerful. I believe like if you're prayerful, there are so many things that God will have for you, because. You can just when you're prayerful, something can just happen. Like you, you cannot even just explain what happened, but something just happened, and you, you, you just saw yourself escaping from something that was almost happening. So just be prayerful, be vigilant, be careful, be careful. I don't know what else to say. And um, yeah, the purpose of making this video was just to let you guys know that things are happening. You know? And you see this case of witches and that if it be that they are existing, nobody say if it be. You guys already seen it. The girl used her mouth to confess to it. And this is just a few of the many that we've had confessing to this kind of thing. So if they still have the same storyline, then there's possibility that it's very true. So to some of you that are saying that witches and wizards don't exist, I don't know what they can call this one. No. But anyways, this was just it for this video. Be very prayerful, be vigilant, be hardworking, be observant. Take note of where your children go to. Even as a parent, as a parent of this possessed girl, I believe had they been they were vigilant enough or prayerful enough, they would have even sensed when their child was possessed. And they would have even started looking for help earlier. 
not to allow her to become a nuisance to the society but anyways this is just it for today's video um i just came out to tell you guys this and just let you guys know that things are happening so yeah this is it for today's video if i tell you enjoyed this video give it a massive thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn on post notification bell in that way you always get notified anytime i post a new video see you guys on the next one for now bye bye guys